Suna Kamura is living among friends at a shelter in the city of Hachinohe, Japan. But on the day of the earthquake and tsunami, she was at the home where she lived by herself. I was scared. But she had her wits about her. She heard the sirens signaling a tsunami was on the way. So what did this 83-year-old woman do? After the tsunami warning, I got on my bicycle by myself and rode away. That's right. Tsunakomura escaped the tsunami on her bike. She spent her life as a rice farmer and takes pride in her physical stamina. When she saw the waters devouring her city, she couldn't believe it. I thought Japan would disappear. I thought Japan would disappear underwater. Like so many people on the Japanese Pacific coast, Suna's house is now flooded. It's totally messed. I went to see it. I couldn't even enter the house. It's totally messed. Everyone in the shelter is, of course, also consumed by the frightening nuclear reactor drama. The situation has special significance for the older people here, who remember the nuclear attacks on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Tsuna was a teenager then. This reminds me of it, very much so. Tsuna has two children, but doesn't want to be a burden to them. She wants to live on her own, but... I have no idea what I will do next or where I will go. Tsuna Kamura is strong and proud, something you might expect of a woman who escaped the tsunami on her bicycle. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Hachinohe, Japan.